My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our lives have many highs and lows. Someone was complaining about his job and wanted to resign. The very next day, he secured a big deal and was so happy. One day he was sad and rejected and the next day he was so happy. Life has high points and low points. In one moment, we can be healthy and even taking our health for granted and the next day we fall sick. Life has ups and downs. My dear brothers and sisters, in one moment you can be the hero of your work, receiving a college, then the next thing that happens is you get fired has happened to one man I know. Even in our spiritual life, we have periods of consolation when all seems clear and we seem to be running towards holiness. Then comes a dark tunnel. We wonder where we are going and we feel desolation. How can we live these various moments? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus himself experienced highs and lows. When he spoke in the synagogue in his hometown, at first the people were amazed. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. But it can become a trap, a kind of drug that is very addictive. The desire to be praised and concomitant allergy to criticism. St. John Chrysostom commented regarding this. I know not whether any man ever succeeded in the efforts not to be praised when he is praised. And the man who is praised at this is likely also to desire to enjoy it. And the man who desires to enjoy it, it will of necessity be altogether faced and beside himself whenever he misses it. They who long for applause not only when they are blamed without cause, but when they are not constantly being praised, became as by some famines wasted in soul, particularly when they happen themselves to have been used to praise or if they hear others being praised. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus sows his freedom from human praise because afterwards he speak the truth directly to those in the synagogue. He reminds them that the prophets Eliza and Eliza want to serve the non-Israelites and this enriched the crowd so much so that they were filled with fury. They wanted to throw him off a cliff. Jesus is stable in the praise and in the criticism. He can bear the intense heat of criticism and the cold shoulder of rejection. He is a man who is constant in all seasons. His example reminds us that we will experience challenges. Sometimes our emotions are up, sometimes they down, sometimes we don't know where they are. But in all this, let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Even in front of the cross, 
he did not give up he preserves the letter to the Hebrews tell us for the sake of the joy that lay before him he endured the cross despising its shame and has taken in seat at the right of the throne of God my dear brothers and sisters we need to learn from Jesus how to live with praise and criticism one huge problem with our faith is that we try to be people pleasers I still remember when I was sent to, to the ministry my superior always remind me you cannot please everybody but you have to tell the truth so that everybody will know what is the truth all about we seek the glory of man and not the glory of God as a Christians we have each been baptized into the prophetic mission of the church to speak out for justice and truth like the many brave journalists around the world who have given their lives in the quest to announce the truth how can we be more stable in the middle of life challenges how can we weather life's storm my dear brothers and sisters any good ship's captain knows the importance of an anchor which gives stability in the storm thanks be to god in jesus christ that we have a solid anchor Christ himself in early Christians art in the catacombs of Rome the anchor was used to depict Christ he is our great anchor Christ himself let us hold on to him tightly let us learn from him how to handle various emotions to live with praise and offer it to the father all glory and honor is your your mighty father and when we are criticized to give it all to jesus my dear brothers and sisters in christ only when we are firmly rooted in this relationship with the lord will we be able to preserve and endure what comes our way and in the middle of the battle we can imitate christ they tried to throw him off the cliff but he passed through the midst of them and went away jesus teaches us how to live all life situation with us the higher and the lowest and to be more constant in our loving response to us my dear brothers and sisters may jesus be our anchor in the highs and lows of our life amen